This has to be, I think, the best snorkeling I've ever done in my life. Oh, it's one way. That was I'm not even kidding, that's the best one I've ever done. Hold on. Good job. Just a little bit of chaos, but we made it. <gasps> Wait, what was the goal there? Mexico. If you saw our last video, you'll know that we're in Playa del Carmen for a month working as digital nomads, but it's the weekend, so we finally get to go explore. I feel like Shakira because she's like red hot. We are going to Cozumel this weekend because it's right across from Playa del Carmen. It's only a 30 to 45 minute ferry ride and tickets are about $22.50. Cozumel is the third largest island in Mexico and it's located right off of the second largest barrier reef system, the Mesoamerican Reef, which creates some amazing snorkeling and scuba diving experiences. Let's go! We just got to Cozumel. We took the ferry over this morning and now we are about to go snuba diving at Genie's Snuba. I've done this before back in 2016 when I was here with my family. It's kind of a combination of scuba diving and snorkeling. Um, you don't need to be certified to do this one where you do need to be for scuba diving. So we're about to go get our safety briefing now. Look at this water we're about to get into. It looks absolutely amazing. Ready to go snuba -ing. KJ was doing flips and tricks. <laughs> I was going up and down. Apparently with our snuba tour, we also get two free drinks each. So I got a pina colada, so did KJ. And I don't know what we're gonna do for our next one. That was like completely unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> that was tequila. <laughs> so I just made the executive decision that we needed snorkel gear on our own for this whole month in Playa del Carmen. And I just bought this whole set, fins, a snorkel, and a mask for 47 US dollars. And I'm not that upset about it because at the grocery store they only had kids masks for $35. It's a steal. And I got one too, because Sarah convinced me. Kate is like really not that excited about it, but I don't really care. <laughs> I'm I am super excited. So uh we're just about... not excited about the cost. Well here we go, we're going on our own now. After an awesome afternoon of snuba diving and snorkeling, we are heading back to Playa del Carmen for the night. We'll be back at Cozumel tomorrow for some more snorkeling and hopefully a scooter ride. We got the scooter, everything's going well, but we brought too many bags, so they're dragging. And we just gotta do some reorganizing, it'll be fine. There we go. Like it? So far, so good. It was a little nerve wracking at the beginning, but we're getting the hang of it. <laughs> Just a little bit of chaos, but we made it. So now we're gonna go snorkeling. I don't know if you can tell how beautiful this water is, but it is absolutely magnificent. Ready to rumble. This has to be, I think, the best snorkeling I've ever done in my life. 
Sarah literally can't stop looking at all the fish surrounding us. <laughs> they literally just come and like pool and like, I guess, school around yeah. you. So, so beautiful. It's so cool. So you can also get a chair or order food at the Money Club Beach Club and it looks really nice. I didn't check to see if there were gluten-free options, but there were lots of food options and lots of drink options. So this would definitely be a great hangout day, but we have a bunch of other things planned. So let's go. Wrong way. Huh? Oh, it's one way. Sorry, thank you. Went the wrong way by accident. to our next destination, hopefully for some gluten-free lunch for Sarah, hopefully some gluten-free tortillas and tacos. And maybe a pina colada, what? <laughs> what? Well, there were no gluten-free options for Sarah for that place for lunch, so we're gonna try to find another spot and go to the beach somewhere else. I just couldn't tell if there were gluten-free options. I couldn't talk to the chef. They just had the menus at the front and they want us to pay at minimum $30 to even get into the place, which is just kind of ridiculous. So I wasn't gonna pay to eat something that I couldn't end up eating. So we're gonna find a new place. For now, have a snack. Avoid the hangar. Sarah's checking out another place to see if it's gluten-free, so TBD. So they only have the all-inclusive option today for $60. Sixty dollars. Well, after having a delicious meal at Playa Plancanar Beach Club, we found our way to the beach. Sarah got some gluten-free nachos, I had some quesadillas, and we got a fresh plate of fruits, which was absolutely delicious. So now we're gonna try to get in the water. It looks a little rough today, but worth a shot. The sand is really soft. The water is super blue. There is a little bit of seaweed, but that's pretty common right now. And I'm just sad we can't really go swimming in here. There's red flags up, it's dangerous, and I think the current's just really strong. So, on to the next beach. And then Playa Punta Morena is back in the direction we're going. And that potentially has more palm trees on the beach. So that's Navigator Sarah. Weather, back to you. Weather guy KJ here. It's beautiful out. What do you think? Made it to our last spot of the day before we have to return. This bad boy. What's her name? We didn't name her. Yeah, we didn't name it. I feel like Shakira because she's like red hot and spicy. Whatever. <laughs> We're just gonna hang out for a little bit. It's time to return Shakira, our scooter, and catch the 6 o'clock ferry. It's 5.08 right now. We have to return the scooter by 6 anyways. So we're going to see if we can make it extra fast and do it all before 6. So here we go. It worked those hip flexors. I gotta, I gotta stretch more. Okay, straight across the island. Now we are headed... We're heading directly west across the island now, back to Cozumel downtown. Really hope to catch the ferry. What's the time track, Cage? 5.20. Okay, okay. I can't believe we're actually passing someone. 23 minutes on the clock. Well, one of the perks is we get to watch the sunset on this cruise now. 
Well, I guess it's ferry. It's not really a cruise, but <laughs> it's a ferry to the mainland. <laughs> Regular rules for getting off of planes, trains, anything do not apply on that ferry. Well, despite missing the six o'clock ferry, we made the seven o'clock one. I feel like I didn't talk enough about the scooter. The scooter, it was really good. Uh, it was like $36, yeah. 36 US for the day, including insurance. So I felt like that was a pretty good deal. It was a little nerve wracking at the beginning, just like learning how to actually ride a scooter with three bags and two people on it. But we figured it out and it was a lot of fun. And I would definitely do it again in other parts of the world, I think. Yes. Yeah, we have another fun day tomorrow on Cozumel, but for now we are exhausted. So we are gonna go get dinner and go to bed immediately. Day three on Cozumel, we are gonna go meet up with our group. All right. We made it to our first reef of the day. It is Columbia Reef. It is about seven meters deep here. Really crystal blue water, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know, I've been kidding, that's the best one I've ever done my whole life. I've been trying to do that for so long. <laughs> good job. That was good. My turn. Yeah! Eh, I've had better, but this is really cool. water right here, no doubt about that. Yeah, you said part of the reef is about 25 meters deep, but looking over there to the left, where it looks to the left over there, you can't see it. You can't really see it, but it's, it's deep. He <laughs> said 500, but I thought I think he was too, okay? But maybe he was serious. I think we're headed to the boat now for our next run. Getting water on and off while I do this. That's the next part of our sport Also, if you can hear me, my dad would be so proud of me for actively seeking out the shade right now. I just feel like I've been in the sun all afternoon and I want to be in the shade. So, dad, if you're watching this, give me props. people getting on the ferry still from the car and yeah we made it 701 part of me is kind of upset that we actually made the ferry because we were having to now go home and cook food instead of going out to eat and i kind of wanted to go out to eat really bad i know it would have been fun hey kj from the future here so i know the vlog got a little wonky there at the end we kind of went from seeing the starfish and stingrays to that next beach and then it was just kind of over so basically what happened was there was a lot of loud music playing at that last beach we went to so we couldn't really talk on the vlog during that however i do want to say that that tour ultimately wasn't our favorite our guide was really rushing us along and we felt like we didn't really have much time especially at that beautiful area with all the starfish and stingrays i mean the only clips that we got were literally what we put in the vlog today so ultimately not our favorite highly highly recommend doing a tour and snorkeling in Cozumel if you do go get a scooter for the day if you're comfortable with it it was absolutely amazing and definitely go to money bar if you can like I said it was probably the best snorkeling I've ever done in my life thus far so that kind of wraps up the vlog for this week really appreciate you watching and we'll see you next week
to blow up the gold there. <laughs> With all our best friends watching the sunset. <laughs> sunset cruise! Oh, it's upside down. <laughs>